Hi, this is David O'Dell. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, replace some uh, broken damaged concrete. Removing it, replacing it. What I have here is a uh, bobcat with a breaker attachment. I've already saw cut all these areas with a uh, walk behind saw with a 14 inch diamond blade. So what we're going to do here, this concrete parking lot, um, it's about 30 years old and it's got a lot of areas that are kind of crushed because they poured on native soil and um, they poured it pretty thin and it's not really good quality concrete and there's no, um, probably the most crucial thing is there's no steel reinforcement in it. So what we're going to do is uh, dig this area out. We're going to make it a little bit thicker than it originally was. We're going to go five inches thick and then instead of the 2000 psi concrete they originally used we're going to go with a 3500 psi and we're going to use a lot of rebar in here we're going to use half inch rebar on 18 inch centers and we're going to um, dowel into the entire perimeter of the existing concrete so i'm going to put these dowels in about three four inches into the other concrete and then just run them all the way across i have dowels on every edge of the existing concrete so that way it can't move anyway this concrete came out about three inches thick maybe three and a half and that's why it was so damaged anything heavy trash trucks um, school buses anything like that drives over this it just crushes it so the dirt was also pretty loose underneath so we went ahead and uh, compacted it with a plate compactor the dirt was really moist already because it was so cracked up and it had been raining a lot you know in the last couple weeks so all the water went through the cracks into the dirt so there's plenty of water in the soil so it made it good uh, uh, really good for compacting what I rigged up here is I've got a, a portable a generator here and I uh, put it on wheels so we can just roll it around in this parking lot and uh, do what we got to do without dragging a bunch of cords across uh, the parking lot and having cars run over them and all that kind of stuff this makes it real simple And this job is a kind of a rush job because we uh, this parking lot uh, generates a lot of traffic so we could only close it for two days total and that's why we another reason we bumped up the concrete PSI also through um, 1% polar set in here because we wanted to get um you know good strength quickly because they're driving on this the next day It, for concrete to reach its full strength supposedly takes 28 days um, and that's when it reaches its highest strength but it reaches a uh, you know the majority of its strength within the first three days so it's always strong enough to hold vehicle traffic at that point I had some extra rebar laying around here and there so I just threw it all in after I got my grid I just uh, threw like five six pieces here and there all over the place here's your uh, adobes I put under here we're gonna uh, tailgate this one right off the back of the concrete truck now backing the concrete truck in here since we had a full load um, 10 yards uh, it's a it's a heavy truck so a little sketchy backing over this concrete parking lot and uh, hope hoping that it's not gonna get do more damage or crush it in other areas so what I did is I inspected the uh, existing concrete 
for a good path for the concrete truck to roll through where it looked like it was pretty uh, good concrete so we, I wouldn't uh, crush any of the concrete the main thing what we, what we did when we backed it in is we just uh, rolled in really fast kept the weight moving and we had to do a little shoveling here because I didn't want to bring the truck back beyond that point because the concrete was a uh, some more damaged areas just uh, beneath that so we had to uh, shovel it around we didn't get the original shots because the uh, battery went dead but we're getting most of it so basically we just these jobs are pretty easy to pour because you can just lay a straight edge across from concrete to concrete it's really easy to rot it this is a 3500 psi oh yeah i got fiber mesh in here too i'll put uh some nice stealth fiber in here i put that in all my jobs though We're gonna put a couple control joints in this. We'll, we'll wet tool them in because easy access to run the joiner, so no sense in coming back to saw cut it. So we're going to go around the edges with the hand float and uh, make sure that everything's really flush so we don't create any tripping hazards. Go around it with a hand float then we'll run a walking edge around it. On a lot of this job we're just going to do with uh, walking tools walking hand edge or walking funny float walking funny f trowel and then we're gonna broom it well he's just gonna we're gonna go around the edges with a sponge to clean it up as soon as we get done brewing this thing is uh, pretty much ready for business Here's your joints we wet cut in. A couple key areas with good crack points are off those corners. Oh, uh, here's the uh, big blue. It's a uh, Fresno basically. Just wider and heavier than your typical. So it lays it down a little bit better. Here's your funny trowel in action. This was the second day. The first day we had it completely removed um, with the tractor and dump truck and graded. And we had the rebar in as well. So all we had to do on the second day is uh, put the concrete in the hole, finish it. It's possible to do these kind of jobs in one day if you're, uh, re if you're really in a hurry to get them done. Turns into a long day, but you can get them in one day.
it's getting pretty hard now. And then the, the funny trial's working real good. This looks like broom material right here. This is also we did a lot of uh, patching in this parking lot um, with some Tams thin set. That's going to be on another video uh, doing some concrete repairs. We had uh, 665 square feet on this job and I set it up at uh, five inches deep and we got it with uh, 10 yards which means my grade was uh, right on the money otherwise we wouldn't have made it with one truckload that is Here's your broom, combo combo nylon and horsehair. This gives it a real nice finish. So these concrete pieces won't go anywhere in the future like the other concrete. They won't crack, sink, or anything. So we got good compacted dirt. We got lots of steel in it, and we got a uh, heavy, a lot of PSI in this concrete mix design. So, and then all the dowels on the edges will even help support the old concrete from uh, breaking. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching my vid video. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.